Transportation? Yeah, uh, well, it's a different ways of doing it. Well, transportation no, 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 versus going into yeah. Arcadia Hills. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, uh, the other way is you got to go through uh -huh. your contract with the village, which is well. complicated. You still got to have a contract. You still need a district. Yeah, you got to. No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't need a district. No. No, if you're in the district. But well, anyway, what, no, you can contract yeah, what, what you're not asking. I was well, I think I, I'm just putting it on your shirt. Sure. Yeah, that's that's what what I mean, I have no problem with that. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. That's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if, that, if, that, if that was easy, we already had the answer. We'll be uh, 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 loaded. Well, just so the board's aware, I'm going to be meeting with Mr. Esposito tomorrow on some of these issues. I, mean, right. I just talked to him about this now. But, uh, I had the opportunity. Some of these things may have come up today. I'm sure they would have been resolved, but at least we can further along. I'll be pursuing those discussions with him. Okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming yeah. in. I think your proposal looks service pretty good. Okay. All right. We're not that tough. Uh, We're not that tough. You just got to get this. Well, what makes sense is obviously the thing to do. Does anybody else have anything? Of, well, I guess we got to fast. I thought we would. Yeah. I thank you all for coming out this cold. Okay. Okay, uh, under new business. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go into new business, folks. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't one meeting. Um, okay, the next item is to set the date for the uh, 2010 reorganization meeting, and the proposal is January 4th. You all have any problems with that? That's a Monday. Now, in addition to the reorganization meeting, work, there may be one or two add-on items that year-end item, like, for example, uh, uh, adjustments to our budget for 2009. Transfers. Transfers. Right. Sure. But so it, it it may be a little bit more than that. But anyway, that's as close to the beginning of the year, which the law says that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. Okay. Well, there's a good chance I'm going to be out of town, but no problem. Yeah. Rest, rest with me. So the rest yeah. of the three of them will be. Phil, Phil, are you going to? Are you, are you going to Florida here. again? <laughs> California. I might not have been, but I'll be here now. Okay. <laughs> really? Well, All right. Yeah. What? That's the Monday after the, the one holiday. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In the yeah. Middle of bowl season. Yeah. That's the Florida season. Well, well is Tuesday a bad night? Oh, that's why we're having discussion here. Discussion because that is a long weekend, and sometimes you want to make it Tuesday. Oh, first is what? The first is Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday. Okay. Sure. Will you be back? I think I'll be back on uh, Tuesday. I mean, I'll definitely be back that Wednesday. Who's that? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. We're all going to be here basically. Hey, basically, all of us are going to be back on Tuesday. Let's go ahead and do it Tuesday the 5th. Tuesday the 5th. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Spiders has something. Hey, it's a cricket spider. <laughs> Talking about cricket spiders. I get it. Get Sweeney back here. <laughs> we have to tag it and let it loose. Okay. <laughs> So, so Val, you've got that change to the fit. Okay. Yeah, Val, just a point of information uh, on your dates there. The March 3 date should be on March 8. That's the Monday. I just happened to notice that. What's that? Uh, not that you are adopting your calendar for next year, but just so that this doesn't just get folded forward. March 3, uh, the work session should be March 8. Right, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Just a typo or whatever. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, it's proper as far as the second and fourth yeah, Monday. Okay. Okay. You can see also in, in uh, November and December, as it was this year, we're going to have uh, combined meetings and uh, fewer. All right. The next item: finance. Would someone make a motion to authorize a supervisor to pay manual accounts payable check runs 
as of 12-1 and 12-03-2009, 12 amounting to $14,752.78, and accounts payable check run of December 3, 2009, amounting to $20,259.65. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Do we need a motion to set the date That's for right. our reorganization? I don't think so, do we? Yes, you do. We do. Well, let's well, go back and do it. I, I, didn't I know we missed miss that. Uh, like right, the I calendar mean, you're not adopting. You're no, not. Not. just the, the calendar, calendar you do that. Okay, would okay. well, someone make a motion then? We set the re 2010 reorganization meeting for January, Tuesday, January 5th, 2010 at 7.30. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> We're now open for a privilege of the floor. Anybody got anything? This Okay. Privilege of the floor? Make it easy. Yeah. Before Jerry uh, yes. commences, uh, just as an editorial comment, yeah. uh, that is a proposal by Mr. Sweeney to excerpt from the existing district that portion so that they could go into the village directly, contract directly, that would not make a great deal of sense to have. Oh, I understand. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure we're going to get it. Yeah, that, uh, uh, I'd rather than that think they float into the trial balloon and we're going to respond to it. No. You know, let's be shot down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just want to Okay, know. Jerry. Good evening. Good evening. At one of the meetings, we discussed Dickerson and Meany there, and the insurer, the insurer for the town, and how they have uh, time and again. I think it was three uh, claims they've turned down. They we didn't. Were, Selective Insurance Company did. I thought they were the insurance company. No, these are new insurance they're, guys. Yeah. No, they're, they're the broker. They want the bat for us to pay the claims, and uh, that, uh, that's why I thanked them on Monday because. When I went over there, they they stood tall and talked to Selective Insurance Company. Said, "Just a moment, this is New York State law, and this is what we're going to do." Said, okay, so th they they represented us well in that one. Good. Okay. Um, were we able to get a better rate? No. Uh, the well, I'll let George get talk to that because he's the one that did all the work on this. The um, the insurance company that uh, we're going to be insured with in 2010 is selective, just as it was in 2009. Uh, the premium is about $5,000 more, approximately, I don't have the exactly there, than what it was the last uh, year. Um, the rationale for that, we actually lowered um, the, there's different parts, there's a liability part, there's public officials part, there's a crime part, uh, police uh, professional is a uh, another part. So some of them were up slightly and others were down. But when you combined it all together, uh, it was about, five. I'm saying five, it was about $5,000 increase. Was there any specific reason what this five thousand represented? Do we yes. have too many claims, or yeah, we had we had great discussion about that. Uh, what was first said to us is that we had eight claims. Doug said, eight claims. What are you talking about? Well, eight claims were not in in two thousand and nine. Eight claims were kind of registered there and festering and being settled. So there were four out of the eight outright that were closed. Uh, we have uh, one or two of them, Dennis, you can help me with this a little bit, that are just about to be closed. And I think there's maybe one or two that are still open, right, without getting into the specific names of it. But anyway, uh, what was said to us Monday night was that those claims are there and that's what the underwriters had to go by at that particular time. However, if in fact all of this stuff takes place, your rates will decrease next year. The, just to tell people to have this, the actual, the actual package is almost a thousand dollars cheaper. But the two areas that George is talking about is the public official liability and the police professional liability. Right, they're the, they're the sectors that went up, and between the both of them, that went up about five thousand dollars, which George tried to explain. Is that the indemnification? I, I don't know. Is that right, Dennis? Yeah. That's right. What's the, what's the question? Yeah, it indemnifies right. the public officials. Well, basically, right. we have to set money aside in case we lose them. Now, we feel very good about most of the majority of them winning them and that they'll 
they just got a lawyer up and spend the money for the lawyers. Uh, but two in the police department uh, for false arrest. You know, we feel very good about it, but it's every American's